This is a 1995 Nissan D21 hardbody. I got this truck in April of 21 with about 141,000 miles on it, and when I started it, it sounded like this. With this truck being new to me, I thought that was the normal engine sound, but as you can hear, there is a squeal or a whine, and the reason I started looking into it is because that squeal got a lot louder when you turn on the AC. We assumed the reason for the squeal was a belt, so we were removing belts and we noticed the fan was seized up. This is a fan clutch. As you can tell, the old one will not move by hand. The new one does move by hand, but with some slight resistance, which is what it's supposed to do. So we know the fan clutch is no good, and we have a new one here to replace it with. One of the other ways to tell if your fan clutch is no good is if it spins freely with no resistance. But in my case, it was the opposite. To get to the fan clutch, you have to remove the air duct by removing these two screws. Once that's out of the way, you want to remove the belt. It was at this point that we noticed the fan issue in the beginning, but uh, to remove the fan clutch, you have to remove these three nuts. Well, actually four. There's another at the bottom. Once all four are removed, the fan clutch comes right off. Once the fan and the fan clutch are removed, the next step is remove the old clutch out of the fan and install the new one. The new fan does come with new screws, so you'll have to use those instead of the old ones. Took us a little bit to realize that. Once you get the clutch back on the vehicle on the studs, it's time to install the four nuts that we took off. This is much harder than getting them off because there's not much room to work with and you have to get your hands in there to get it started. This was the most time consuming part, so I'll speed it up here. But it's a good thing we went in to change the belts because that's when we noticed the fan clutch was seized and that was what was actually causing the squill. I'm not sure if the squill was coming from the clutch itself or the crankshaft or one of the other pulleys, but replacing the fan clutch did fix the problem as you'll hear here. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you watch this video to the end, please let me know down below in the comments, and think about liking and subscribing.